Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to explain a series named, The Protector, which was released in the year 2018. The episode begins with a gun pointing at Hawken, the main character of the series. A slow-moving bullet flies directly towards his forehead, but we're not sure whether the bullet hits him or not. After this, the scene then flashes back to the past, and we're formally introduced to Hawken and his friend, Memo, who live together. As Hawkins' phone alarm blares continuously, he lazily wakes up and turns off the phone. Hawkins stretches for a while and wakes Memo who's sleeping on the couch. After the two freshen up and have some breakfast, then they go to a place where they dream of opening a shop. However they have not yet purchased the place, as they currently lack money. Hawkins and Memo peep through the window of the shop and talk about how they will decorate it. Just then Memo notices that their future shop is right next to a billionaire. Face all Erdem's business empire. After this, the following scene shows Hawken, who goes through many streets markets to visit the shop of his dad Nesite Korkmaz. While in the street, Hawken meets a fortune teller, Turkan, who tells him that his future is about to change soon, and he's destined to do something big or something different. However, Hawken dismisses the fortune teller's prediction, as he doesn't believe in destiny. Soon after, Hawken arrives at his dad who used to sell antique ancient things, and here it is later revealed that, Hawken is an orphan, who was adopted by Mr. Korkmaz. He tells his dad about his plan to open a shop, and tries to convince his dad by telling him that, the shop is a brand new store and is in a wonderful spot, but Mr. Korkmaz ignores his word, and tells him to deliver a carpet to a tourist girls, that was ordered it the day before. In the next scene, we're introduced to Faisal Erdem, the billionaire. As Mr. Erdem boards off his helicopter, he's assisted by his general coordinator Layla, and chief of security crew Mazar. Layla informs her boss that, he must attend to the press, to discuss the Hagia Sophia tender. Actually Hagia Sophia is an esteemed heritage in Istanbul, which had been around 1,500 years old and so many businessmen are bidding for the heritage, considering its unmeasurable value at the press meet. Mr. Erdem talks about, how Hagia Sophia is the heart of Istanbul and shares his plans to restore it, by winning the bidding process. In the meantime Mr. Erdem and his team come across Gokhan Gluten, another bidder for Hagia Sophia. They exchange greetings and wish each other luck for the bidding process. In the next scene, we see that, Hawken delivers the carpet to the tourist girl, who happens to be temporarily living at a hotel named, Cavadin Holding. After finishing his job, Hawken notices a long line at the lounge area. So he asks a man regarding the line, which turns out that, it ice a line for job interview for Mr. Erdem's company. As Hawken desperately needs money, he immediately signs up for the job. Hawken has an interesting conversation at the job interview with Layla sadly as Hawken doesn't have a college degree nor can he speak any foreign language. So Layla asks him to chase his luck in getting a job elsewhere. Hearing this, Hawken leaves the place, but as he's return, he sees a small girl who's nearly hit by a falling chandelier. Hawken immediately rushes to save the girl, while Mr. Erdem and his chief of security Mazar observe Hawken's heroic deed. Later, Hawken again goes to his father and try to convince his dad about his business plan. Just then, a woman named, Susan comes to the shop, looking for a rare piece of talismanic shirt. She urges that, the shirt is for her special client, and proposes to pay a hefty amount of money if needed. But Mr. Korkmaz lies about not having the shirt, although he has it tucked away in his cellar. Hawken insists his dad to sell the shirt, but Mr. Korkmaz doesn't listen. Soon after, Memo comes and inform him that, they've been kicked out of their house, as they couldn't pay the rent. It turns out that, Memo had gambled the rent money, which Hawken had left on the table. The other day, in the evening Gokhan Gultikin takes Mazar to a secret hiding place and tries to bribe Mazar in return for sidelining Mr. Erdem from the bidding process. Upon hearing this, Mazar kills his boss's rival with a string. On the other hand, as Hawken and Memo are bankrupt from their failed businesses, they decide to steal the rare shirt from Mr. Korkmaz's shop, and sell it to Susan. Later Hawken and Memo meet Susan at a restaurant, to negotiate the price. Here it's revealed that, the shirt is worth seven figures and the client Susan is dealing on behalf of none other than Mazar. As they're talking, Mr. Korkmaz arrives at the place and takes the shirt away and says, it is not for sale. Just then Mazar has his people shoot Hawken's dad. Hawken tries to take his dad to the hospital, 
but Mr. Kormas insists on taking him to his friend's pharmacy, where Hawken meets pharmacy owner Kamal and his daughter Zainab. Kamal immediately takes in Mr. Korkmaz for treatment, while Zainab tries to console Hakan. In the meantime, Memo is captured by Mazar's accomplice Tekken. Tekken and his gang torture Memo for getting the information about Hakan and his rare shirt back. At the pharmacy Zainab takes Hakan through a secret place, where Kamal is treating his dad. Hakan is furious at Kamal for not taking his dad to the hospital, however Mr. Korkaz tells his son that, it's too late now. He further advises Hawken to believe in his power, which is his destiny, saying this much he passes away. Later Kamal formally introduces himself and his daughter to Hawken, as the loyal ones, who are responsible for protecting Hawken and his rare shirt. Zainab further discloses that, Hawken is the protector whose duty is to stop the immortals. Actually, immortals are evil shapeshifters, who wish to destroy Istanbul and the entire world. Hawken goes insane upon hearing the truth but he still doesn't believe it. Kamal then says him to wear the shirt, to prove to him that he is protector. Hearing this, as Hakan wears the that shirt, his body starts to observe that, the shirt leaving the mark of the protector on his chest. Zainab then fires a bullet towards Hakan, to test whether or not the bullet affects him. It turns out that, this is the, the same scene that, we see at the start of the episode. The bullet bounces off Hakan's forehead proving him to be the protector. In the next scene, Kamal gives Hakan a quick history lesson, about the origins of the Immortal vs. Protector battle. Then we are introduced to Mehmed the Conqueror, who is devoted to saving Istanbul from seven Immortals. Mehmed says him that, in this modern era, Immortals are in a form of human, and these evil Immortals can be identified by three ways. The first one is, a virtue ring that glows, when it comes in contact with an Immortal, the second is a special dagger, that can kill the Immortal, and the last is a shirt, that serves as an armor. It is also reveled that, Mehmed chooses one of Hakan's descendants, as the protector to lead the battle against the immortals, because of his skill's power and pure heart. Meanwhile, Hakan starts getting sick, as the shirt unbalances his mental and physical state. He still doesn't believe the story about protectors and immortals and thinks that, Kamal and his daughter have drugged him. On the other hand, Tekken and his boys try hard to get the information from Memo, then the scene shifted back at Kamal and Zainab's place, where the they are worries in respect of Hakan. Hakan is untrained and is not ready to fight the immortals, so they plan to train him. However Hakan escapes from the place and returns to his apartment, where he finds out that, Tekken has been asking about him around the neighborhood. Panicked Hakan sneaks into his room hoping that, Memo might be there but f. Ails to find him. Right then Hakan notices a strange box, where he finds a gun, and an old photo of Kamal, Neset and another guy named Merit. Meanwhile, Zainab comes there and try to convince a Hakan. As they're talking, Tekken messages Hakan to meet at Sultanahmet Square through Memo's phone. Thinking that Memo has called for him, Hakan goes to the square along with Zainab. In the next scene, Kamal goes to see Susan at the hospital to ask about her a client, who ordered the talismanic shirt. Kamal thinks that, Susan might be the key to finding out the immortal, but Susan was also killed by Mazar because Mazar thinks that, she could expose his identity. On the other hand, when Hakan arrives to meet Memo, Tekken shoots four bullets at Hakan from a hiding place, but he became surprised to see that, the bullets doesn't harm Hakan. Following the incident, Tekken reports to his boss Mazar, who is not pleased with the information. On the other hand, when Zainab came to know that, Hakan was tricked by Takan, she goes to Square Place and rescue Hakan, and takes him back to Kamal's pharmacy. As they arrives at pharmacy, Hakan asks Kamal about the photo, that he had retrieved from his dad's box. Here Kamal reveals that he was close friends with Neset and Marat. Here it is is also reveled that, it was Marat, who came before Hakan as the protector. Hakan then deduces that, Marat was his a biological father, who died during the fight with immortals and, Neset Korkmaz had been hiding the truth for years, to protect you. Hearing this, Hakan urges Kamal and Zainab to find the immortal and kill him as soon as possible. However, none of them knows, how the immortal looks like. Actually immortals can only be identified by talismanic ring. On the other hand, Mr. Erdem who was impressed by Hakan's act of heroism, suggests his assistant Layla to hire Hakan as a security crew member. In the next scene, Tekken reports to Mazar that, 
He has some valuable information about Hawken and shows a file containing the background history of Nesset Korkmaz, and suggests that he might be linked with Hawken and the shirt. In the next scene, it is shown that, Kamal revels Hawken about his descendants, and how they saved Istanbul and the world from plague and famine brought upon by the immortals. He also trains Hawken on controlling his mental state, so that the talismanic shirt can protect him. Kamal places a hot piece of rock in Hawken's hand, to build up his pain tolerance and teach him to fight. Later Kamal proposes to Hawken and Zainab to meet a senior loyal, one who has the talismanic ring. He also tells them that, as the immortal might go after the ring any minute now, they must ensure that it is in safe hands, because to kill the immortals they need the shirt which Hawken has, and the ring which the senior loyal one has, and also the dagger. Unfortunately for Hawken, multiple loyal ones have different pieces, and it seems that, one is assigned to protect their talismanic item. While Hawken and Zainab get ready to meet the senior loyal one, Kamal goes into the hospital to look into Susan's death CCTV footage. In the next scene, Mazar is furious at Mr. Erdem for trying to hire a new security crew without his confirmation. Mr. Erdem consoles him that, he won't be replaced by the new member, and tells him to celebrate their win of the Hagia Sophia contract instead. However, Mr. Erdem is oblivious to the, the fact that, the victory came after Mazar killed Gokin Gultikin. Meanwhile, Hakan and Zainab arrive at an abandoned house, following the address of the senior loyal one. When they enter the house they come across a man, who is pretending to be the senior loyal one's son. The man who reveals his name to be Khan and says that, his mother locked up in a room monitored by CCTV. He tells Hakan and Zainab that, his mother was mentally ill and she hasn't spoken to anyone yet. Since he then leaves the room to monitor Hakan and Zainab, when both enters in the next room, the senior L. Oil One recognizes, Hakan's tallest manic symbol on his chest. Then she finally opens her mouth to reveal that, the man is not her son and, that they're being tricked by the woman, and also hands Hakan the sacred ring, but the stone is missing upon. Hearing this, Khan comes to the room and shoots the senior loyal one. They then hurried to destroy the CCTV footage, before a group of men for whom Khan, was working for arriving at the place. Hakan and Zainab escape the house, while the senior loyal one promises, to take care of the men at Kavadon Holding. On the other hand, Mr. Erdem is serious about hiring Hakan for the security position. So Layla asks Hakan to come to their office and meet Mr. Erdem personally to talk about the job offer. When Hakan arrives at the Kavadon Holding, he formally meets Mazar. Mazar doesn't realize that, Hakan is the one with the shirt, whom he's been chasing after for a couple of days now. In the meantime, Mazar has a phone call, where he asks about Khan and, it turns out that Mazar was the one who had sent his men to the senior loyal one's house. Upon realizing this, Hakan accepts the offer to work as a security member for Mr. Erdem, hoping he will get more information about Mazar's true identity. That was all from the video. I hope you liked it. Subscribe for more content like. Comment your favorite movie, I will explain soon.